are my notes to the Fortress of Bookatoon! All hail Macbeth! Shakespeare's classic play set in medieval Scotland and partly based on a true historical account charts the bloody rise to power and tragic downfall of the warrior Macbeth. Yeah, and it's timeless because it depicts how man's conscious decision to descend into evil and tyranny in the name of personal ambition can lead to massive disorder. Right. And it begins in the Scottish countryside with three evil witches who plan on meeting Macbeth. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Hover through the fog and filthy air. <laughs> They were also known as Weird Sisters for obvious reasons. In Old English, weird means fate, you jerk. That's what I meant. Meanwhile, there's a rebellion in Scotland, and a wounded soldier tells King Duncan and the Thanes of Scotland about the great hero of the battle. At first, it was like, oh, no, we're going to lose. But then Macbeth was like, oh, yeah, boom. He kills the rebel Macdonwald and saves the day. But the Thane of Cawdor sided with the enemy. Execute Cawdor and arrange for his title to pass to Macbeth. We need more loyal men like him. Side note, Scotland's warrior culture was particularly brutal. Scotland! Ah! Shakespeare didn't write this play, or any plays. He was a fraud. Who had the education, the money, and the motivation? Shakespeare couldn't have done it all by himself. He was just a puppet. The Earl of Oxford was the puppet master. Go see Anonymous in theaters October 28th. We've all been played. And back to the play. The witches meet Macbeth and his trusted friend Banquo with some strange greetings. Thane of Columbus! That's me! Thane of Cardo! Uh, that's not me! And king hereafter! What? Oh yeah? Well, what about me? The descendants of Banquo will be kings. <laughs> That'll be the day. Hey, Macbeth, King Duncan just made you the new Thane of Cardo! Uh, well done, Macbeth! Since Macbeth is King Duncan's cousin, king hereafter doesn't seem out of reach. Hmm... But when King Duncan announces that his son Malcolm will be next in line for the throne, Macbeth realizes that he may have to be proactive about getting the kingdom. Hmm. When Macbeth's wife reads his account of the witch's predictions, she becomes as ambitious as, well, a man. Unsex me! Fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty! Hey honey, King Duncan's gonna crash here tonight, is that cool? Excellent. You must kill King Duncan and take your rightful place on the throne. Macbeth's sense of right and wrong is now in conflict with his own ambition. Lady Macbeth, on the other hand... Welcome to our most hospitable and loyal castle, my lord. ...appears to have no problem with murder. I can't kill Duncan! I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent! Stop acting like such a woman! We'll kill him and then blame it on the servants. Yes, dear. Oh, boy! Oh, hey, buddy! Hey, Banquo! And his son, Fleance! Who's that? Let me ask you something. Are you having any cursed thoughts lately? No, but let me ask you something. Would you ever do anything to make the witch's predictions come true? I think about it, but I'm loyal to the king. Anywho, check you later. Then Macbeth sees a ghostly dagger and is convinced that it's a sign that he's supposed to kill Duncan. Yeah. What have I done? Relax. I'm going to go smear blood on the king's servant, so it looks like they did it. When the king's body is found by the Thane Macduff, Macbeth must quell suspicion. The king has been murdered! Sorry you had to hear such coarse language, my lady. Yeah, it was the servants. Uh, I found them all smeared with blood, so I murdered them. You know, out of loyalty. Oh, boy. The news spreads. Duncan is buried. His sons are under suspicion because they fled to England, but the kingship of Scotland is passed to Macbeth. Call it! Huh. Maybe Macbeth killed the king. I wonder if the witch's predictions about my sons will come true. Hey, I'm gonna throw a loyalty banquet. You coming? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, my lord. Wait, why did I murder the king if Banquo's heirs inherit the throne? Uh, kill Banquo and his son. Yes, okay, sir. Yeah. As Macbeth's thirst for power grows, Lady Macbeth starts to have doubts. So we killed Duncan, but now that we're king and queen, I don't think we're any happier. But Macbeth no longer needs his wife to spur him to action. <laughs> his ambition pushes him so far as to kill his best friend. <laughs> so when Macbeth hears that Fleance survived, he starts to go bananas. Hey, buddy. A ghost! Let the earth hide thee! Thy bones are marrowless! 
my husband's not feeling well, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Sorry! Everyone's here but McDuff! He's plotting against me! And he was. The Thanes discuss how McDuff fled to England to join forces with Malcolm for an overthrow. Scotland can't have a crazy king! So, Macbeth returns to the witches and demands to be shown visions of his future. They're not pretty. Beware of McDuff! You won't be killed by any man born of a woman. So no worries about McDuff then, right? You won't be vanquished until a forest comes to you. A forest? Pfft. That'll be the day. What about Banquo's heirs? Will they still inherit the throne? <laughs> hey, buddy! When Macbeth hears about Macduff's trip to England, he hires assassins to kill Macduff. And when they find him not at home, they kill his family. Macbeth! Meanwhile, Lady Macbeth is being torn apart by guilt for what she's done. I smell blood, gotta wash off the blood. As your doctor, I'd advise you not to kill yourself. The Thanes of Scotland are closing in. Hooray! An army's approaching! And your wife is crazy. Army? But the weird ladies imply that I'd be fine! See? Camouflage! Pretty cool, huh? Bring it on! <laughs> Your wife killed herself. Look! The forest is coming toward us! And Macbeth realizes that the witch's predictions have come true. Well, just goes to show. Life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. So if I die, I'm gonna die like a man! <laughs> Born of a woman! <laughs> Macbeth's army has surrendered the castle and Macduff is hunting Macbeth! By the way, have you seen my son? I was born of a cesarean section. Ah, man, dang it! Technically not of a woman! <laughs> he died well, with valor. Which is more than we can say for this guy! Scotland has its freedom! freedom! By the grace of grace, we will perform in measure, time, and place. And that's Shakespeare's ray of hope. Good can triumph over evil because the madness of tyranny will eventually be its downfall. Yeah, I know that now. I sure wish someone would have given me the heads up earlier. Ah, uh, I just said heads up! <laughs> Funny because it's you. <laughs> yeah, yep.